okay um, we are moving with the next video that is or the next topic that is bottom up passing so in bottom up passing we before doing the passing table creation or before doing anything we must take into account the grammar and in this grammar we have to insert an another grammar that is called what augmented grammar that is called the imaginary grammar so imaginary grammar to be augmented or augmented grammar to be created by looking into the starting symbol so starting symbol is what e okay so e so we write e dash gives e okay so when the starting symbol is e we write an augmented production or augmented grammar that is e dash gives what e from that we produce a closure operation when we produce closure operation then only we can do what bottom up passing so first step to create a bottom up parser or to construct a bottom up parser is to do what closure operation to do closure operation first we have to find what augmented grammar so i have written augmented grammar closure operation means e dash gives e we put dot in the front of e okay when we put dot in front of e you must look into the terminal next to the dot okay dot as next to dot as what e so look into the production of e is here so there are two production so i can write e dash gives again i will put dot plus t okay next also e dash e sorry e gives dot what t so next look at the dot of this are two grammars again i am inserted so look at this grammar dot e e has already been explored next dot t so t is not been explored so look at for the t t gives what dot of brackets of e and t gives what dot id okay so in the bottom up parser when you do closure operation dot next symbol can be explored if here it is another symbol that is f gives id it can be it can't be included in the bottom up parser because we can't generate it from the closure operation that is the effectiveness or efficiency of the closure operation because if the bottom up parser can do the what all grammars it can do that can only be included in the bottom up parser because f gives id is not reachable condition which we have already discussed in theory of computation this grammar can't be reached it is an unnecessary grammar so it it will not be included in the bottom up parser that is the peculiarity of the closure operation once again i will say it in the starting symbol you look and make it as a augmented grammar and e dash gives what dot e look at the symbol next to the dot and explore it and next next look at the new grammars or new productions which have been found from this and it's also dots next symbol is to be looked and must explore until no symbol is to be explored so our after closure operation this grammar has been transferred to this okay okay uh, so now we are constructing the lr zero grammar lr means left to right scanning and rightmost derivation in bottom up parsings we are doing the rightmost derivation okay so uh, there are variety of bottom up parsing techniques we see one by one first as the lr of zero so in the uh, we have already seen how to construct uh, an augmented grammar and also closure okay so And next look at this only i0 first state is i0 which we have already constructed with the closure operation that is e dash gives dot e e gives dot e plus t plus t and e dash e gives dot t t gives dot e brackets of e and t gives dot id which we have already constructed that is the initial state of the passing table next look at here if here e comes so it will move this dot to what next here isn't it when this token is been recognized thing like this e dash gives dot e and the pointer is presiding here okay next when it sees e this e is already seen then what we have to do we have to 
we have to cut here e and we will move to the next state isn't it we when we are designing the dfa when we see a we move to what next state isn't it like that in the passing table also we will look for the every symbols and we will move for the next transition okay so that is done in the bottom up parser not like in the top down parser which we have created first algorithm follow algorithm and we constructed passing table as such but in bottom up parsing we are seeing one by one symbols and we are passing it okay so first is the initial state initial state is the closure operation look at the first gram e dash gives dot e when e is seen here he is seen here both here also here also e here e is seen dot will be moves to the next side here e is seen dot will be moves to here so that e gives e dot plus t isn't it okay so here when e is seen e has been seen so this can be avoided and pointer moves to the next to e so e is next that is right most side of e it is going also here when we see e it moves to the right most side so plus is to be seen here okay so that's up to here that is i1 the state next look at here when t is seen here okay so uh, when t is seen here here when t is seen e gives dot t this will be moves to next T dot. If the dot is reached up to the last one, that is no one is to be passed or no one to be seen. That is said to be what reduced. That is full passing has been completed here also. Full passing has been completed here also. Full passing has been completed because no symbols to be seen next. Okay, uh, so that is so said to be reduction. So we will discuss it later. So look at here. when t is seen it gives what e gives t dot okay so next one what will we see it can see what opening braces if it see opening braces t gives brackets of dot e brackets look at here in closure operation when dot comes before any na any production if there is a production that is if e has production in our grammar that must also be what looked so e has production what e gives dot e plus t and then dot e also e gives dot t t has another production t gives what brackets of t gives dot brackets of e t gives what id so when you pass it if the closure comes if the dot comes before any symbol its closure must also be considered here here dot comes in the last no closure it to be considered so we have nothing here also plus is no terminal symbols closure to be considered only consider the closure of what non terminal symbol okay i think you have getting an idea next one what But this has been seen. This has been seen. This has been seen. Next, we have to see here. That is, ID comes. T is ID dot. Okay. So this is to be seen. This is been seen, and this is been seen. Now, next look at here. If T comes here, E gives what T comes when T is seen here. E gives T dot that we have already written in the state. So move to that. Okay, states must be numbered. It must not be duplicated. If already we have mentioned any states there, you must move to that. So E gives T dot T give what yeah that is it will produce E gives. t dot so move to that state which is already been specified here e gives what t dot okay also number the state state i1 state i4 i2 i3 you can number as it but uh, the concept is that first state must be marked with i0 now look at here from here we have seen this much state from here plus comes what this plus dot will moves to what here isn't it okay so e gives e plus dot t look at here t from t we can again make closure what all closure can be made t gives what brackets of e this is a wrong 
so t gives dot brackets of e t gives what id i have made it wrong corrected so the t gives what dot brackets of e t gives what id okay from here again t comes where it goes e gives plus t dot that is the end of this grammar it can be reduced it's the reduction so e gives plus t dot okay t comes okay from here id comes where it goes t gives id dot which have already been specified here id dot okay next one if here brackets comes what will go on here also brackets come it have moved to here so there you map to there t gives brackets of dot e brackets closing okay so next one here look at here we have seen here all things so look at here this is to be explored more here e comes where e comes it moves to where e comes dot plus t isn't it okay so e comes dot plus t so here also e here also e so it becomes t gives brackets of e dot bracket and also here e so e gives e dot plus t isn't it okay so next one here brackets comes what will become it has been passed so t gives brackets of brackets of e dot and here plus comes okay here plus come where it goes likewise in this here also plus comes to e gives e plus dot t isn't it so it moves to the okay so this we have seen this have been seen this have been seen and now look at here here closing brace sorry opening braces come what will be looking if opening braces is coming to here it will moves here opening braces come this this opening braces come what will be given t gives brackets of dot e closing brackets isn't it so that is same here then from e we will move to this to production and this to production so loop it okay so this is the lr of zero grammar so you must start from the first state and move for the every terminal and non terminal symbol and move to the next state don't write the state redundantly look at whether we have already been specified that state or we can loop it itself otherwise if it is both is not the you can move to the The next state and number as such it is okay so this is the construction of a la zero grammar passing now we can move to the passing table in the passing table you must write the states states what all states is there up to eight states are the zero one two three four five six seven eight okay next we write what all the terminal symbol and what are the non terminal symbol terminal symbols here is id is there plus is there and opening and closing braces is there ampersand is a new symbol and which means that it is an accepted here this if this state if it is accepted in the ampersand state we on uh, the ampersand symbol we write it what accept as such in the dollar symbol also dollar state also sorry dollar symbol in the ll of one passing table yeah ampersand signal and in the first state this augmented grammar comes in the first state in the first state ampersand it has been what accepted so that is the newly artificially inserted uh, signal and at us uh, it means that when augmented grammar is been passed that is augmented grammar reaches up to the end in the ampersand state we write what accept okay next one uh, sorry uh, so brackets ampersand next we write what terminal uh, non terminal symbol that is two non terminal symbols are coming e and t don't write e dash because it is an augmented grammar it is for writing for only the accepting condition so write for only e and t so next we will see Uh, we must number the grammar so augmented grammar don't number it here it is 1 here it is 2 3 and 4 okay so four grammars we are using so four grammars we are using here uh, so that is 1 2 3 and 4 and look at here state 0 
in 0 when id comes it moves to what in the state 0 id comes it moves to the state 4 that is it is shifting to what s4 okay that is when in one state it moves to the next state it is called what shifting if with a terminal or non-terminal symbol it moves to the next state it is called what shifting look at here in the i0 with id i moves to the next state that is called what i4 so i write s4 yes here okay next non terminal symbol is opening braces i move to the state i3 so i write what s3 yes, here with e i moves to what i1 okay so i write for the terminal symbols we write what shifting and for the non terminal symbol we specify the state number only so i write 1 and with t i goes to what 2 okay in the first state next we are exploring the first state in the first state with plus i am going to the state i am going to the state 5 so i write yes 5 here okay in the one with plus i go to state 5 i write what 5 here so that is s5 and also a one with ampersand i accept that is here augmented grammar is this so it has been accepted okay in the second grammar it is being reduced so in the lr of zero grammar if in a state if a reduction comes all terminal symbols we write the reduction okay so there is no shifting only reduction okay so the grammar number is what 2 so i write r2 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 okay so that is a peculiarity of R Z L R zero if a in a state a reduction happens look for the na grammar number of that reductions uh, production so grammar number is what 2 so write r2 in whole non terminals so uh, obviously you have an id if the shifting comes here shifting comes so you will write what for example here s4 this can't be what lr0 that is the peculiarity of lr0 is since we are writing we are not looking whether it has been reduced in this whole symbol we are simply writing what if in a state reduction happens whole terminal symbols we write reduction for that particular grammar number if shifting also happens for that for example here s4 is also shifted here it becomes what not lr0 lr0 will not be the it can be passed with lr0 okay so in say and take in the next state it will shift for id with s4 okay and shift for uh, opening braces with what s3 and in the fourth state i4 state it is reduction and reduction grammar number is for r4 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 and here also in the third state with e it goes to sixth state and t it goes to second state also in the fifth state uh, it shift with to uh, with id it shift to fourth state and in the opening braces it shift to the third state and t it goes to with eighth state okay t it goes to eighth state on the sixth one sixth state okay in this um, in the sixth state it uh, in the shifting it goes to with plus it shift it goes to what i five the state and so yes five and closing braces it goes to what i seventh state so s1 in the seventh state okay in the seventh state here reduction happens so we write the grammar symbol number for that that is three so r3 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 in the eighth it is reduction r1 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 r so this is the um, example for the lr0 grammar it is a lr0 grammar because no two production since we have said in ll of one that is if two symbols or two operation is done in a single column it can't be ll of one in in the same case in the lr of zero if shift and reduction happens at a time it is not lr0 
shift and reduction happens at a time it is not LR0 reduction and reduction happens at a time that is not LR0 this is called shift reduce conflict and this is called reduce reduce conflict it may happens in some grammars because here all are written R2 so there must be some in some word the shifting happen so that can be done by a LR0 parser so we need more powerful parser which we will be discussing in the next video okay thank you